carbon fiber electric guitar with a built-in amp? Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. And today we are checking out the all new Nova Go Sonic from Enya. And guys, before we get started, if you could do me a favor, just real quick, reach down and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Thanks. So yes, guys, it is true. This is, in fact, the number one new release in electric guitar beginner kits on Amazon right now. And this sells for $399 and it comes with a really cool gig bag. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you would know that I've already checked out and reviewed a whole bunch of guitars from Enya. And they all have one thing in common. They've all been carbon fiber. And when I was at the NAMM show recently, a couple of months ago, and I saw this at the Enya booth and I picked it up and played around with it for a few minutes, I was like, okay, yeah, Enya, they make really cool stuff. I like their carbon fiber acoustics and those kind of guitars, but now it's an electric guitar with humbucker pickups yeah, I've got to check that one out. And there are a whole bunch of things on this that kind of set it apart from your traditional electric guitar. One of the biggest being the built-in amplifier, the 10 watt amplifier with the speaker right here that's literally in the guitar. And it's got an onboard amplifier basically with presets, with effects. You can get all the sounds that you want at the touch of a button. So the way it works is you just hold down this button to turn it on. Okay, you see it's on, right? You can see the green light. It is officially on. And there are four different categories of tones that you can cycle through as you push the button. The green one is the clean sound. And to go to the next category, you just push the button. Okay, so you can see we're at dark blue, which is the overdrive category. And then light blue is distortion. And then finally, Purple is the high gain category. I'm gonna play it in just a minute, guys, and you'll hear what those different categories and those different tones sound like. But first, I need to talk about the app. It's really easy to download and super easy to connect your phone, the app, with the guitar. And then once you've done that, you gotta turn it this way, you go into the app and you can customize all those sounds. This is the mixer section, and you can see that there are eight different categories that you can adjust. This is the main tone page and you can see the four categories up at the top, clean, overdrive, distortion, and high gain, and four presets for each one. Here we see that there are two amp models, deluxe clean or 100 distortion, and you can adjust all the knobs on either amp. Then we have equalizer, which is fully adjustable, modulation effects, which include chorus, tremolo, or vibrato, noise reduction, delay, and of course, reverb. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take you through each of the four preset categories and I'm gonna be recording right here on the camera microphone and you're gonna hear everything coming out of the built-in 10 watt speaker.
so that high gain sound. Um, I have to say guys, I wish the high gain tone that you could get out of this was a little more high gainy. So you can get some really great sounds out of this as far as the cleans and maybe the mid gain sounds, but I guess I, I would probably say it's not great for those really, really high gain. Like if you're gonna do like metal shredding stuff like I like to do, maybe it's not the best choice for that kind of stuff. But anything else, like you wanna get those like David Gilmore sounds or cleans or whatever, yeah, I think it's great for that. Now it does have the quarter inch jack right here, so you can actually plug this into just like a regular amplifier or whatever. So what I'm gonna do for you guys real quick is I'm gonna plug it into my audio interface and it's Line 6 Pod Farm, the same thing that I always use for my jams and my demos and stuff. And I'm gonna play it through that using the distortion and the effects and stuff from line six and basically just sending a clean signal from the guitar. I'm gonna have all the effects and stuff on the guitar turned off and then we'll just hear how it sounds with the line six stuff. Check it out. So yeah, uh, definitely a better high gain sound if you use an outside amp rather than the built-in amplifiers that are in this. And if you don't want to use the speaker, like you're afraid it's too noisy and you don't want people to hear you practicing, it also has the headphone jack right here. So you can put the headphones on and still, you know, have the benefits of the built-in amps, the effects and everything, and you'll hear it, but nobody else is going to hear it. All right, let's go over the specs of like, what is this guitar exactly anyway? Well, as we can see, it's got that single cut Les Paul design a very thin carbon fiber body. In fact, the whole thing is carbon fiber. The, the body and the neck, it's all one piece carbon fiber. One interesting thing to note is that it's got a zero fret right here. Two humbuckers, a three-way toggle switch. Of course, we've got the power button here to turn it on and off, cycle through the effects the volume. This is also a volume button down here. It's not a tone knob. You would think like that's the volume and that's the tone. It's not. They're actually both volume knobs. One of them says it controls the volume of the effects and the other one is like the overall volume. But what I found was when I turned either one of them down, it cut out the sound completely. And then also over here on the main volume knob, it's got a push-pull 
for the neck pickup to go into parallel mode. Now, being that it is a carbon fiber guitar and like pretty thin carbon fiber guitar, you wouldn't expect it to weigh very much and it does not. I weighed it and it comes right in at 5.62 pounds. Now, regarding the two humbucker pickups, guys, uh, according to Amazon, it says this is an Alnico 5 and this is an Alnico 2. The fretwork is good, no buzzing frets or anything like that. However, the action is fairly high. Now that's normally not a problem because I can make adjustments to lower the action, but on this one, the bridge, the bridge is pretty much already all the way down against the body and I can't really lower the bridge anymore. And being that this is not a bolt-on neck, again, one piece carbon fiber, there's no way for me to shim the neck pocket to boost up the neck to reduce that action. So I'm kind of stuck with the high action, which is a, uh, Really not ideal. I'm gonna say again, guys, so this is probably not an ideal guitar for like the metal and the shredding and the really fast technical playing, but more for like, you know, songs, chords, rocking out down here in this area of the neck, great for that. Besides the guitar, you also get the charging cable so you can charge up the guitar. And a really nice gig bag. You're probably thinking like, well, that, that looks really small. There's no way it's gonna fit in there. Actually, it fits perfectly in there because the guitar itself is not that big really well made on the inside. You see this big cushion right here? Supports the neck. I like that design. It's got extra padding down here on the bottom to support it. And it's got the rubber foot on the bottom here. Huge pocket in the front to put stuff. And then this big strap in the back. It doesn't have two straps, so you're not gonna carry it like a backpack. Basically, you, you know, you'd carry it over like one shoulder like that, which is perfect. Alrighty guys, so that about does it for the all new Enya Novago Sonic. If you want more information on this carbon fiber electric guitar, of course, I'm gonna have the link for it down in the description. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>